Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a quick video together, just sharing a bit of information, a common issue on this Ford Transit. Now the issue we've got, basically the engine warning light's on, the engine service now is on. The issue that we're having is the DPF keeps blocking up. We've got a couple of fault codes, we plugged it in with a diagnostic machine. Now there is some faults relating to the glow plug circuit, um, but the main codes that we're really interested in with this one, we've got P2463, the sort accumulation. We've got P246C and we've got P26A1, which is the main code that we're looking into. Now, basically what's happened on this one is just blocking the DPF up. It's not regening properly. Um, but this code here is relating to the glow plug in the fifth injector. Uh, it's actually had a fifth injector, the fuel vaporizer fitted, um, but it hasn't. It, you can clear the codes and it will stay out for a little little while but once the vehicle attempts to do a regen or if you try and do a regen via the diagnostic machine it keeps failing to do the regen because it's recognizing there's an issue with the circuit that's so now it, it's actually quite a simple fix it's just relating to a fuse that's blown for the vaporizer circuit it's just a 20 amp fuse just a mini blade one um, but just get under the bonnet now just show you where the fuse is located that's so it's just some people aren't aware that there's a fuse for the circuit that's so. so it's always worth just quickly checking this fuse if that's the fault code that you've got in there so all i'll do is just get under the bonnet show you where the fuse is located and then we'll just run for a re regen and just show that it's show that it's successfully carried it out and fixed the fault Uh, so you've got your fuse box here the fuse is actually just sat just roughly in place at the minute just just roughly put it back in just to show you where it was but you can see that fuse is blown there so all i'm going to do is just simply replace that one then we'll do a regen and let you know it's fixed the fault just if you've had a fault with your fifth injector there's a good chance it's blown that fuse that's all Right, I was just going to follow the instructions. I just skipped through this step, but basically just carrying out a regen with a diagnostic machine. That's all. So I'm just going to run through this procedure now and then just show you the outcome. So uh, when I was attempting this before, it would just fail and stop the regen when it picked up a fault. That's all. So, um, but yeah, so we've had this issue a few times in the past, but this one's actually had a fifth injector fitted by someone else that hasn't realised it's just simply an issue of a blown fuse. That's all. Right, so a quick update. We've successfully done the regen on it now. The van's running absolutely spot on. We've got no more warning lights on the dash. Now it didn't. It wouldn't let me carry out the regen straight away. Straight away by the diagnostic machine. Now it's not uncommon if the DPF's that blocked and you can't get rid of the shut content fault code. It won't allow you to carry out the regen. So I did actually have to run some DPF cleaner through this one and let that soak for the night, and then just giving it a quick run. And then hooking it back up to diagnostic machine allowed me to successfully carry out the regen obviously the injector was working properly this time and since doing that it's now got it nice and clear no fault codes in it at all so definitely fixed the fault just thought i'd share the video in case anyone was struggling with the same code but yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you next time